Ladies, this is Heather Mara. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist. I'm passionate about letting women know about their bodies. Let's talk about pregnancy, trimesters, and fertilization. So what happens in pregnancy, especially those first few weeks? Let's look at the body. This is a pelvic girdle. This is a pelvic floor, the urethra, the vaginal opening, and the anus. Those are compiled the pelvic floor. This is a picture of the uterus. Let's pull this out as we discuss. So the ovaries are here, the fallopian tubes are here, and this is the uterus. The uterus grows 500 times its size in pregnancy. It's pretty amazing, really, when we stop and think of everything that happens. So we, everything is counted from LMP, which is the last menstrual period. So think back, you had your last period, about two weeks later is when the egg is released or during ovulation, at which time you then have intercourse and the sperm comes up and meets and there's fertilization in the fallopian tube. Approximately seven to 10 days, again, one to two weeks, it takes the fertilized egg or the zygote to travel and implant into the side of the uterus. Sometimes there's implantation bleeding, and at this time, um, it feels like maybe some light cramps. It might feel, uh, a see, it seemed like it's more of a pinkish discharge, and you might start to feel some changes in your body going on. Again, anytime there's bleeding or spotting, it's good to connect with your doctor, but understanding what may be going on as well. Again, implantation bleeding, women often say, it's like an early period, but it's not quite. Um, and others don't. So about 30% of women have this implantation bleeding. So approximately from then on, from implantation on to eight weeks later, it's called an embryo. And after the eight weeks after implantation, it becomes a fetus. Now let's talk about our trimesters. So there's three trimesters and we talk about pregnancy. We used to say it's nine months, but really it's 10 months, it's 40 weeks. And that's because of those extra weeks that we count that you're pregnant. Again, there's two weeks between your last menstrual period and ovulation. So that adds a couple extra weeks there. Full term uh, pregnancy is considered 39 weeks and beyond. Early term is 37 weeks, to 38 and six days. Let's go to the first trimester. The first trimester is from the beginning of the pregnancy up until week 13 and six days. Second trimester starts at 14 weeks. And then third trimester starts at 28 weeks. Now there are some variations. So if you see some conflicting details out there, um, there are some variations out there. So what happens? First trimester, um, you don't have a baby bump you feel like maybe you're having some nausea, you can smell a lot of things, your breasts are sore, um, fatigue, that really um, marks that first trimester. Second trimester is when the uterus starts to grow outside of the pelvic girdle. The uterus starts to get bigger. And during this time, there may be some round ligament pain. The ligament goes from the uterus down to the mons pubis or labia majora, which is part of this out outside part of your vulva down here. So that's why sometimes you might have a pain with cough, sneeze, standing, rolling over, round ligament pain. Very fatigued in the first trimester, go into the second trimester, and a lot of women feel like they get some energy back. Sometimes the nausea or the morning sickness decreases in the second trimester. You see a lot of growth, and then in the third trimester, you get even more growth, and that's when women start to get more fatigued again, and you decrease with more of your energy. Now again, that's a generalization, but sometimes those are kind of how the categories of the trimesters are broken down. Now, how do you know how many weeks you're pregnant? You may go to your doctor and they'll say 13 plus two, which means 13 weeks pregnant plus two days. So when you say, well, how many weeks am I pregnant? How do I understand this? You're 13 weeks pregnant at that point, but you're in your 14th week of pregnancy. It's similar to how we do birthdays as well. So you can think about that. If a baby turns one and then one month later, they're in their second year of life, but they're one year old. Sometimes that helps to figure out all the little details. And it's amazing how a lot of times we start thinking about these things and they get quite confusing. So hopefully that's helped you out with a little bit about trimesters, fertilization, implantation, and what the, your changes 
that are going on within your body. If you have any questions, make sure you to drop them below and make sure that you subscribe. And thanks so much for tuning in to One Simple Step today.